We are about to buy a storage unit in every single state across America, starting right here in Los Angeles, California, with a little twist. Let's do it. We're gonna be bidding on this guy right here because there's a guitar in a lot of boxes. They just took it to 360. Really, this is a $100 storage unit. All right, you guys wanna fight? Let's fight. $410 on this unit. Are we gonna win this with five seconds? Four, three, two. We got it. Hey! $390. Because we're traveling state to state, that means we're gonna have to sell every single thing we can the same day. Every single dollar we make is gonna be donated directly to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Here it is, a $390 unit. It said five by three. That's usually this. Oh my God. <laughs> way more. What are we gonna do with this stuff? I guess let's start getting through it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling overwhelmed, but sitting here complaining about it's not gonna help. Let's start Let's go. going through bags. This is the first storage unit we've ever bought in Los Angeles, California. Ooh. Isn't this weird? Look how clean it is. Mm, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful clean bag. Let's open it up. Sounds like medication, but still gonna check. Yeah. Medicine and bathroom. Gross. Is that a shoe I see? That, what, are, what is this? What is that? It looks like a dress shoe. I want Jordans. That's what we want. Is that? Ooh, hey. those are actually pretty nice though. Look at those. Nice. Bottoms are a little dirty, but they are nice. All right, let's see. This bag here, more, yeah, bathroom. This, that's a Jordan. That's actually a black on black Jordan. Yes, nice. It is. Hopefully we can find the other one. Oh, is that what it is? There, there's our dress shoe. There's our, what is that one? I don't know, but it's in decent shape. There's our other Jordan. So yeah. we got our first pair of Jordans right off the bat. Let's keep throwing some of this stuff out here. What's in this? Ooh, that feels hard. I'm excited. That sounded bad. Ugh. That that that's a lot of bathroom stuff right that there, isn't it? Hard. I'm... Yeah, that that <laughs> wasn't a good statement. Pretend you never heard me say that ever. Let's see what's in this duffel bag right here. Ooh, it's definitely heavy. Let's see what it is. Uh, what are these? Fireworks. This is probably considered an illegal assault weapon here. This right here, T-Mobile. It's an empty box. What is that? Is it empty? I can't tell. Oh, it's supposed to be some nice headphones, but it doesn't feel like they're in there, unfortunately. What about down here? No, this is just random certificate. Random, yeah, car stuff. Listen to this. What is that? Uh, what are these all? Is it candy? Gumballs or something? Doesn't it look like gumballs? It looks like chocolate. It, it, that's exactly what it is. A bunch of old chocolate balls. No, no. <laughs> What about, ooh, there's shoes in here. What do we got? Is it like a random pair? Look, this and this, okay? That's not, hey, a Pokemon card. It could be a Charizard. Hey. No, it's a healing scarf. But hey, there might be more of them in the unit. There is another one in there. I see another one. Like this one. Look at this great condition. You can tell by the fold. Skitty. Yeah. Okay, there's no more in there. But maybe there's some somewhere else. Let's see what else is in here. Is this the air mattress? Every unit is required by law to have. There's a Michael Kors purse with ee, 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 stuff in it. All right, what's underneath here? Stop, come on, come on. Candy, more dirty shoes, no pair to nothing. Hey, you want a pink dolphin? Sure. Well, let's see if it can fly. <laughs> it can fly, at least now we know dolphins can fly. It's scientifically proven. Let's go in here, actually. This right here looks like a lot more ugh, gross bathroom. Is that a jewelry box? What is that? Ew, what is this? No, I don't even want to know. Yeah, I don't want to know that. I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't trust LA. <laughs> that close close all right and down here we have a bathroom set at least there's a nice little bathroom set in there and we got random hey a pokemon card again why is there random pokemon cards throughout this unit now i can reach this guitar and see what it is and if it's worth anything let's see the brand name on this guy is loduca model number 48283 it's just like dusty like i don't think it's actually like messed up in any way like if i took a wet wipe or a wipe i think this would clean up really really nicely so this might be one of the more expensive things to come out of this unit the way it's looking so far here's another nice decently i mean they're a little dirty but again i feel like it's gonna wipe off nice pair of size 13 nike almost my size almost but you know it needs to go up two more sizes than that let's see this right here i think it's all closed that's closed this is closed this guess what what it's closed <laughs> donation though no? yeah definitely 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 Ooh, is this actually a little kid's bike what do you think uh, I don't know. It looks like it's never been opened before unless they just taped it up really well. You wanna know something weird? We just looked at our camera bag and realized that we still have this knife in there. Just to let you know, that camera bag went through TSA airport security. I didn't even know this was in there. Apparently they didn't either because I don't think this would have been allowed, but it's here now. I thought they would have called it and made us throw it away. It's happened to us more if we're gonna have a knife and make us throw it away. But yeah, they didn't even notice it. 
Look at that, brand, brand new. new in the box. That's what we like to see. I'm really excited right now. I moved some stuff out the back and you can start to see some big old like lock case back there. We found the guitar, so maybe it's another type of instrument. I know there's virtually no chance of finding a firearm in California, but you know, maybe. We're gonna be traveling across 10 different states, so we wanna raise $10,000 for St. Jude's Hospital. And we want you guys to help us. So for every like these videos receive and every new subscriber that comes in, we're gonna add a penny to a pot and make a massive donation at the end of the 10 video series. Series. Last month we gained over 70,000 subscribers, which would be over 700 additional dollars. And guys, I know we can do better than that. Help us, help people, let's do it. My turn. Let's grab the first box, which I have to open with a knife. Listen. Ooh. What the heck could this be? Something cool. Yeah, hopefully it's something cool. Let's go. Come on. We have, we have, um, what's the word? Uh, we're optimistic. What? Well, I'm not now, because I read it. <laughs> okay, this is basalt but it is new electronic boxes are next this one feels pretty light this one has some weight to it all right let's see <laughs> so tab a from samsung let's get it open okay we have a little push pin in there but no tablet no not even a manual in there let's see about this sony blu-ray thing like i said it feels really light never know no you never know let's be optimistic nothing yeah. in there What's next? What is next? We have this bag. Hey, something has Ooh. the plastic still on it. Here's an electronic that 100% is in there. Neck gear, 54 megabytes per second wireless <laughs> router. Yes, Woo! this is 1999 and we would be set, baby. Yeah, and in that bag, <laughs> just trap. All right. Let's pull down this white bag because it's kind of like in or that white bag is going to make the box fall. So let's get off. Let's the box. not do that. Let's not do that. <laughs> and well, that box will make that fall. <laughs> Something's going to fall. Okay. So what's in this box? We have whatever the heck that is. A thing. Uh, a big water bottle, a bunch of bathroom stuff. Let me lift one more thing. Check that out. It's all dirty bath stuff. Next box here, the box that fell on me just a second ago. The assault box? Yes, the assault box. Bad box. Oh, you heard feelings. <laughs> so let's see what's in this bag first. Ooh. Hey, look at this. Whoa. Look at all these Pokemon cards. Heck yes. What years are these from, um, they say? 2018, but well, there could be older ones mixed in here yeah, definitely there's also I mean, so, there's rare new ones too here's some magic card sleeve so we'll save those just in case we find some magic cards but i mean we'll sift through that and get all the pokemon cards out there's something in here probably this stuff right here syrup so we'll find what's good out of there and get all those pokemon cards and save this Ooh. what is down here this gold box for one so i'll go through this in a second what is this so, what are these little pellet i don't know it looks like the beat art thing it's nintendo switch case so that could be in here. A little stained glass thing, some wires, deodorant. Oh, okay, what? I see What'd Pokemon you see? down there again. Okay, I see one Pokemon card. Right <laughs> energy. An energy card. All right, let's get into this gold box. Come on, we need gold. One, two, three. Uh, hey, okay, maybe. what's this? What is this? I don't see markings on it, but we'll have to look closer and see if that is real. So I move the white bag on top and look what we uncovered. This Pokemon tin Woo! right here, plus this big box. What do we got? What Let's do we see got? What's in this big box? Let's see what's in the Pokemon tin first. Pokemon. Some more cards. There's some more cards. It smells like spike in there. So these Sugar and spice? Yeah. The Pokemon cards have a little bit of seasoning on them. Alright. They got like a season card. Yep, they got season. So that down here we see some canned goods, crackers, rental wraps. So there's kitchen stuff mixed in here. Yeah. Um, let's see, what's in this bag? Hey! Hey! Another Pokemon case. Hey, look oh, at that! Oh, yes, let's go. All right, so what's here? Ew, Ew. What is there's it? a phone under here. And more Pokemon cards. Yay! All right, so we have a Samsung phone. I don't see a model number on that, but we'll definitely keep that. All right. Let's move this. Move. Ew. All right, move that bag. So we have a handful more Pokemon cards. That's good. So we'll keep this tin, and we'll just add Pokemon cards in there, too. And we'll keep this bag. Full of this, them. Yeah, this has way more. I see right holographics, here. too. Yeah. All so we right. have Pokemon, a lot more Pokemon cards. So that goes there. And then this kitchen stuff is about to make me sneeze. Don't do it. Um, <laughs> Let me check this last corner. We have a magic sleeve. Everything else is just kitchen stuff. Now we have this big black duffel bag here. Let's see what's in it. Come on. Let's hope for something good. Pokemon. Pokemon. All right. Oh, this is definitely Whoa. random. All right. I mean, brand new thing of glue sticks. Good donation. Portable speaker. Good stuff. Uh, this is kind of dirty. What's in this box? A tiger puzzle. Nah. Glow in the dark tiger puzzle. That's good cool. donation also. Even these little goggles right here are good for donation. We have um, hair, piece of hair. In this bag, I, I see, Pokemon. see Pokemon again. Here's another Pokemon card, Carablast. Pokemon. Go right there in a little pile. 
This we have an umbrella, which again, donation. Tissues, we're starting to get to some clothes down here. So let me see if we have other stuff. Old candy, mm. team girl sunglasses. What is this? Okay. What the uh, heck is that? Maybe a flashlight power bank. Maybe, maybe. a bomb. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> could be. There's a lock. What is this? What does this say? Sound core? Whoa. What, what is, this, is stuff? this stuff? This look, I see hair, but I also see lighters. Hmm. Like, oh, what is this? What's this? Whoa, look Whoa, at this no coins. way. Oh, no way you gosh. did not just find that in here. Okay, let's, let's, uh, how do I get in this? Rip that thing. I'm trying. Those are, I can't there's no me. way those are silver Morgan dollars. I'm about to, that. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. a huge chunk of our money right now. Bear with me, let me get in this bag. Cut it. Okay. <laughs> no way. I need the knife. This is why you check every last thing in a storage unit. Yes, 100%. Okay. This is about to be wild. That's what I think it is. Man. Okay. Get out. Why is it so complicated? Because we want to see them. They're all silver coins, aren't they? And there's one more little coin oh in here. Oh my God. Right here. All right, let's put the knife to it. So we have a nickel, nickel. that uh, says 2019 on it. Okay. 18, yes, so Morgan look, dollars, baby. 1884 Morgan dollar. Here's a, what, 1921. Heck yes. Here's a 1885. This is a, what, 1923? Yep. There's another one that's oh 1923. God. Oh, wow. <laughs> Talk about luck. 1922. This one, 1923. 1922. And this one, uh, uh, 1921. So we have a whole How many stack is that? of more than dollars. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I'm not wrong, I think in just silver weight, that's like $20 a piece. And if there's key dates in there, Yay. it could be worth a lot more than that. High five! <laughs> Yeah. Yes. I mean, this all in like a trashy bag. Like this is why you look through everything. And don't forget these $20 a piece times nine. How much is it? Like $180? Yeah, or more. Or more. Or more goes right to St. Jude. So this is a prize find. Can I just say that is why we do it. That is why we do it. It may not be a bunch of money, but you know, finding $200 in silver coins or something like that, you just, it's, you can't put a price on it. No. You just can't. Check these out. Brand new shoes. Only 20 bucks. And I have worse news. They are like really on sale. I thought I saw a really cheap price tag. Maybe it was the other pair. But yeah, this one, look. $3.96. Everything adds up though. Yeah, for this though, to be honest with you, like I'd rather just donate it to somebody here and try to sell it for a dollar. Why not just give some people who need it a couple of new pairs of shoes? Very true. There's two pairs of shoes. And now I'm really interested to see what's in this right here. Let's get to that in a second. Let's go in this Michael Kors bag first. Uh, don't um, know if I perfect agree with all this here, but. Um, <laughs> Why is that in a bag like Los that? Angeles, baby, LA. Okay, so this we're gonna have to dump out and go into because after that, those coins, we're gonna, we're not only gonna go in every little crevice, we're gonna go in every little crevice with a magnifying glass and a microscope, man. I'm not missing nothing. This, ramen. Yay. Don't you just love ramen noodles? Yeah. Ramen noodles, an a old muffin. muffin, and a baseball. It's so random. What is it? Yogurt. That? Oh, I thought that was something. Okay, food. That's gross. I'm just gonna pull it out because okay. I'm getting very impatient. <laughs> All right. Let's see what this is. What if it's just like a gold coin collection? Imagine. <laughs> I know. How do we get this thing Wait, open? Let's see. Turn it this way. Yeah. Push these things in, maybe. Uh, I didn't even notice that. Oh, yeah. There, there you go. You ready? Yeah. I feel like it's a big reveal right here. Uh, Batgammon. No. It's a Batgammon <laughs> set instead. Well, you know, it's still something cool. It definitely looks old. It might be worth something because of its age. So we went through the disgusting Michael Kors bag. Nothing too much of value, but we did find this in there, which is a five pesos coin from 1947 and when i googled this i got one of two things i got two different results one thing that said that it right here 90 percent silver which is a good thing then there's another thing that said they have it on sale for 11 dollars. so i don't really know if it's silver it's obviously worth more than 11 bucks so when we go to get the other coins looked at we'll get this looked at too so this cardboard box all nasty kitchen stuff i wanted to be able to get to this blue suitcase back here that was my goal all right, brand is elite. All right, but I want to see what's inside of it. That's the fun part. Yeah. Let's set it on its side and open it up. Come on, no clothes. We want coin. We want coins or Pokemon cards, either which. Something Let's good. See. Well, random. Yeah, it looks very random. Very random. Family feud card, glasses. What is that? Ew. Food. Food. Um, definitely, definitely very random. I'm not seeing no Pokemon cards or no coins. I'm really not, uh, unfortunately. What is book? 
come out. A holy Bible. Will this finally be the one that has money inside of it? <laughs> For the first time ever. Dun dun. It is not. The only big vehicle the whole rental car place has is Toyota RAV4. So this is all the space we have. So 99% of our storage units are gonna have to go right donated in the city we're in. Only take the best stuff with us. Now that we finished cleaning out our storage unit, we're heading out of Los Angeles. But along the way, we're gonna find out where to sell the stuff we kept and let's hope they're worth some big money. Stopped at this random place to grab a drink and some beef jerky. Saw that they sold coins. Figured we should take ours in and get an expert to look at them and let us know if they're real. I can tell you right away, just by just a quick look at them. I've handled lots of them over there. Yeah, they're real. I can tell you that right away. Like on this one, maybe here it may have been cleaned. Yeah. Okay. You want to look at that because unfortunately when they're cleaned, they do deface the value on it. You want to keep that patina in them. Three, four Morgans there and you have one, two, three, four, and five peace dollars. Yeah, I think it's probably going to be a, a part silver. Yeah, it's going to be like maybe 60%. Yeah. Definitely check out your mint marks on every single one of those with their year. Well, thank cool. you guys. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. I've been wondering the whole time we drove through the mountain, so I appreciate it. <laughs> Mm. Well, don't you just love the random places in the middle of absolutely nowhere, especially when they can appraise your coins at the same time. That's why you love the desert. There are a lot of things I don't like about California, a lot, trust me. But there's one thing about this state I absolutely love and hold dear to my heart. And that's in and out baby, the best fast food burger in the country, let's go. Can I just point out a very obvious fact? And that fact is that soda is better than tea. No, I think not. I think so. And I think you should put in the comments which team you're on. If you're not with team soda, mm. <laughs> mm. look at these beautiful burgers. You know how good they look, especially when all you've eaten in 26 hours is two pieces of beef jerky. Beef jerky, that hurt my jaw. Ready? It's still as good as it was. It's so cheesy. <laughs> Tell me it's still as good as it was. This is good as it In and out is the goat. California, you have issues. We still have an hour and a half left to drive to the next city. And the place we're taking our guitar to closes at 9 p.m. So hopefully we can make it there and get that guitar sold and get us more money to donate to St. Jude's. Nevada! So we're at Guitar Center now. As you can see behind me, about to take this guitar in, see what we can get for it. I just got it out of a storage unit, so. What's wrong with it? Oh, uh, okay. I mean, can can you guys honestly, like, can you repair it and donate it to, like, a kid? Like, do kids come in here and... So, I mean, even if I don't get any money for it, you guys wouldn't want to fix it up and give it away or anything? Um, I asked our manager. He's sitting right back there. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'll do that. Hi. Are you the manager? I'm the manager. Okay. Uh, he told me to come back here and just ask. So, he said that you guys wouldn't be interested in, like, buying this. However, I said that even if you guys wanted to fix it up and I don't get any money for it, can it go to a kid or something? Like, do kids come in here and want a first guitar yeah, or anything? The thing that makes it tough is like we're such like a corporate guitar okay. store. Um, okay. I would, I would honestly recommend taking it to like a like a mom and pop store, or like a family owned music store, like Family Music down. Family Sunset. Music. Because not only is it like locally owned, they mm. give lessons to younger kids there. It's more okay. like beginner friendly. Somewhere like Perfect. that would Perfect. be awesome. So family music, you said? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Now the mystery is the Pokemon card. So we're gonna head to a collectible card shop and see what we can get for those Pokemon cards. Okay, so I bought a storage unit and I found these in there. And I just want you guys to look at it. Some of them aren't in the best condition, but I figured I'd bring them in anyway. Okay. okay. To be honest, maybe just keep them because you're not gonna get too much. This guy is kind of in heavy to damage condition because of the dents. Gotcha. But we mainly like the hollows and stuff, not to be rude or anything. That's just kind of what we're looking. I mean, you gotta be honest. Yeah. Though. And then the, the trouble cards we usually like just give to well. kids. Okay. Um, not too much here. The what commons else? we don't really deal with. The only thing is the main thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is cool. I hope you have. So <laughs> you have a lot of kids that come in here, right? Yeah. So can I ask that these just, can these just be set up front for kids to take? 
Yeah, I mean, can you just like give them to kids when they come in? Yeah. Peter, do you just want to use these sure. numbers for children? Sure, we don't Yeah, Absolutely. I mean, I, I would love for that to happen, yep. so. That's okay. We appreciate okay. you donating our heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we are not having a lot of luck with this unit, are we? We're pretty much down to our coins now. And since we're in Las Vegas, Nevada already, I wonder where we should take these coins to get them looked at and sold. Hmm. Pawn Stars, obviously. Unfortunately, it's too late to go inside their store, but they do have a window where they they accept buys all hours of the day. So let's go up there with their silver coins and hope those other people are right and they're real. We can at least get some money for this unit to give to St. Jude. Um, I got these coins. I think they're Peace Dollars and Morgan Dollars from a storage unit. And I just wanted you guys to take a look at them. How much would that be? 35. Okay. Thank you. Make sure I got everything. You too. Thank you. Well, we ended up with $135, $15 a piece. The melt value right now in silver is really low. It's like 14 something. So I didn't expect them to pay really high, but we got $135 to donate. All right. So usually right now I would be saying, man, we just took a major loss. We made $135, but you know what? Not today. It's not a major loss. It's a major win. That's $135. But as you can see with the nature of this challenge having to sell everything in a single day it's gonna be a lot harder for us so this is gonna have to be a community effort guys we need you to like the video and we need anyone new to subscribe because that's how we are gonna hit that ten thousand dollar goal I know we have a strong enough community to do it so let's go ahead and do this $135 of course, we're going to add the extra 270 so they get the whole 135. Let's go ahead and do this donation through. We may be only a little bit over 1% of the goal, but I know by the end of this, we're going to get there, guys. See you in Nevada. There it is. Louis Vuitton box. It's got weight. That is heavy. What is that? 